Well, good morning, YouTube. Here's our latest Craigslist find. What we have here is probably, I think it's a 1966 vintage Delta Unisaw. It's a model 34450 that I just picked up almost sight unseen. So I haven't run the motor. I haven't even twisted the, uh, the tilt or raise mechanisms. The table's a mess. It's going to need, it's pretty rusty, as you can see. Right here, they had some sort of uh, plastic material stuck on the top of it in that one section. It took four of us to get this thing in the pickup, and now it's just me. So, I enlisted some help of my good friend, John Deere, and we're going to uh, see if we can get this bad boy out of here and into the shop. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get this thing tipped up flat in the bed that I couldn't lift it so we're gonna got a chain around it I'm just gonna lift it up just a shade enough so that I can then uh, rock it over and let it get it standing up straight okay after a little futzing we were able to get the thing upright so now I'm gonna kind of walk it back here onto the tailgate and then get the tractor behind it and we'll uh, get a lip of it in the bucket and chain it back to the bucket and pick it up okay we've got it in the bucket here chain back and now we're gonna just very carefully back out of here and move it over into the garage the floor so I'm going to go up here I think now I can just do this by hand or uh, actually I think I can probably unchain it we have this thing back on terra firma now and I'm happy about that because I was sweating bullets that I might bend these guide bars or worst of all drop it and bust something and that would have been my uh, investment little as it was down the drain but here we are in the shop now so we can uh, begin the restoration process okay first thing I found that I noticed when I saw this on Craigslist there was a some white junk right around here and I thought what the heck could that be turns out it was a piece of like vinyl contact paper that they had laying on here and I was able to just peel it off pretty easily with that and underneath that the table looks great so I'm hoping that when we get to it the rest of this will clean up as good as this does because it actually looks pretty darn good in terms of no pitting or really much of anything so it's just some some surface rust inside the uh, the guide grooves here is probably a little worse but first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off these rails got this for a good enough price that if uh, it'll probably leave me a little headroom for some parts if I need something along the way because I'm, I'm expecting I'm going to have to have something because as I think I mentioned I don't even run the motor so I'm not 100% sure the damn motor even even works we're gonna we're gonna get there it looks like it's okay
the dust in there. I don't know what they were cutting. It looks like they were cutting. And there's only there's only one belt on it. Okay, we probably lighten it up by 150, 200 pounds right there. Tilt works pretty good. Obviously, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, and the, the height adjustment's a little stuck, so we're gonna get there. Let's go ahead and take this blade off. Now that we've got seven eighths here, let's see what we can do. This is a Craftsman blade. Looks like it has some carbide on it, but I think that is a throwaway. If that's the only thing I have to throw away over this thing, I'll be happy. Now, but I think the next thing we got to do is probably take that motor off. Try to get this lightened up a little bit so I can put it on some dollies that I have. Let's get ready to take this arbor off. And there's a key that goes into this shaft right here. Got that key out and loosen up this pinch bolt here. And now this. Uh, should rotate freely and it does and I think the problem was this shaft should turn should roll freely in here as well on this yoke and it was it was rusted tight it should pop off now um, I've got that key out it's cleared it's cleared the uh, the yoke down here for the uh, the arbor tilt. Okay, that's off. Now, one thing we now know we need to do is we've got to get this pin out um, because it's stuck in here. You can see it's pretty well rusted in here versus being smooth like this. So we're, we've sprayed it. I sprayed a bunch of uh, PB blaster on it. And we're going to try to get that loose now, see if we can get that out of there. Well, we're waiting for the PB blaster to work on our shaft there, so we can get that freed up. We're going to go ahead and get started on cleaning the rust off of these uh, table, this table and the wings. And I'm basically just starting right now with a, a scotch Brite pad and some kerosene to uh, just get that all the first layer of nasty rust off of there and get it uh, cleaned up a little bit before we actually move to something finer to really get it uh, shined up and, and cleaned good. So actually, it's coming off pretty good. I'm going to take a little scrap of half inch plywood and that will go right down over that and get into that groove pretty good. Get it nice and get the bottom and the sides with that brillo pad. You can kind of see how that's actually cleaning up pretty good. Like I say, up in here, that's a little, a little worse. Over here isn't too awfully bad. 